All right, folks, this is Sam with Cycling again. And uh, in this video, what I'm going to do is um, I bought some new armor for my jackets. Um, the Alpine Stars and the, um, I mean, sorry, this is the Alpine Stars and this is the uh, Dionysi. Um, so I, what the problem is that I totally forgot um, that some of the Dionysi jackets have chest protectors. Uh, uh, and in, an insert right here for the chest. But this one does not, so I only bought the back protector. And um, as far as the Alpine Stars, this particular jacket comes with a uh, back protector and um, the chest plates, which are in here. Uh, this red piece actually right here is not for the chest plate. It's actually just another big pocket. And, um, and I'll have a review on this jacket later. I have to wear it. Uh, I haven't worn it this summer at all, so I'm going to wear it this summer and then I'll do a review of it later. But yeah, it's a really big, big pocket. Um, so that's what that one is for. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you um, basically how the back protectors goes in. The Dionysi is very simple. It's only the back protector and it, it, it goes in right where this um, zipper is right here. And I just want to show you guys what the back protectors look like um, and see if that's going to would be a you know worth of an investment for you or not. Uh, so um, let's take a look. So the Dionysi jackets, the majority of them come with no pr protectors except for the shoulders up here and the elbows. And that's what most Dionysi jackets come. Um, if you're going to get ones with back protectors in them, they they go about $800, if not more. And those are usually the fall um, fall heavy-duty jackets. But all of their jackets that, that I'm aware of, um, the ones that are either summer or light textile jackets, they they do not come with any other protectors except for the shoulders and the uh, the elbows. So this one's very simple. So this is what um, this is what I bought right here. Um, I'm a, a woman, so I bought the G1. This is the Wave G1. It's small. Um, and yet I, my understanding, it comes with the Wave G2. If you're a man, you, you obviously need something a little bit bigger. Um, so um, uh, this is a, a men's jacket um, so this should fit in a women's jacket as well um, but I'm gonna put it in this jacket because um, the women's jacket uh, they don't fit you know they fit me well but my shoulders are is still tight for me and that's why I don't wear a women's jacket often all right so let's take this off take a look I have never I haven't touched these uh, yet so I don't really know uh, what kind of durability they are so yeah so it's got this little plate here I'm gonna take off the tag and I'm going to insert it into the uh, the jacket uh, but uh, this is what it looks like up close it's got let me take this little sticker off here um, it's got heavy heavy plastic material with a little bit uh, of neoprene right here um, on the back of it, it looks like a honeycomb style um, some style fabric and I think that's to keep the back cool. I don't know how this is going to ventilate because the back of my jacket does have mesh um, but hopefully that will ventilate for me in the in the summer. But let's take a look um, I think the way it goes in and you can see on this jacket here um, there's two pockets and I think one pocket is for the G1 and one pocket is for the uh, G2. So I'm going to stuff this in here and uh, there it goes. There it fits very well right there. And you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but there is a lining in here. Uh, the stitching for the second pocket underneath for the G2. And I'll take that out and put the bottom and you'll see that it's a little bit big. See, it doesn't fit very well. It's moving right here. Um, yeah, so therefore, um, I put the, the top sleeve. There's two sleeves here. So the G1 is going to go on the top sleeve. Uh, for the women's fit. And you can see the stitching um, fits very well right here. The stitching right here for the uh, for the uh, G G1. Okay, let me zip that up. And that's pretty much it. So it uh, sits in there pretty well. And um, now the jacket has a back protector. And uh, you can kind of see the mesh material right here. The 3D mesh material. And uh, so yeah, I can't wait to see. It, it is a little bit thick. So it's going to add a little bit to the uh, to the jacket. But uh, I feel a bit more better having uh, a back protector rather than not. So that's the Dionysi jacket. Let's go over to the Alpine Stars. The Alpine Stars is going to be a little bit more, uh, you know, more to it. There's the uh, chest pads. The chest pads uh, are interesting to get to. So let me do the chest pads first. So here's the chest pads. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. 
But basically, um, where'd my scissors go? Here we go. <clears throat> but here are the chest pads. And, um, let me take those away. A little bit more taping here. It does matter which side you put it on. Uh, so there's an Alpine Stars and there's one without an Alpine Stars logo. So it should sit like this on the jacket. So this one I'm going to put on this side. To get to the chest pads, um, you have to go... It's, there's no zipper here to get to the pad. And the pad, this jacket comes with the foam inserts. And I'll show you what the foam inserts look like. I mean, they're really nothing. They're just foam. So this is not going to protect it against anything, really. Um, but the chest pads, there's a foam right here. Except there's no zipper to get to it. In order to get to it, you have to go to the zipper all the way at the bottom right here. Uh, let me show you that. Uh, let me leave this in so it doesn't fall out. But uh, you have to get to the zipper at the bottom here. And then... I don't know if you can see it, the zipper at the bottom, and then you have to go all the way up in here to get to the chest pad. So here's what it looks like, like that. You can see right there, this is the little flap. I know it's all blacked out, but you can see the foam sticking out. So I'm going to take the foam out. I'm trying to be careful and not rip off this thing here. I'm going to unvelcro this. You can see now the foam has now been exposed, okay? And then uh, I'm going to take that chest pad out. So there's the shape of it. So I'm going to put it in just like that. So there's the foam. I'm going to put this in just the way it came out. So I'm going to put this in like this. There we go. And then I'm going to Velcro that up. And there's that side. So the chest pad on that side is now in. <coughs> So uh, there we go. All right. And then um, before I put this one in, I'll show you what it looks like. It's just more plastic versus this, this piece of foam right here. So there's the plastic piece. It's got a little bit of foam under this fabric as well. Um, but uh, the idea is hopefully this plastic will absorb most of the impact versus a piece of, um, a piece of foam like this. Okay. So let me do this side. Again, going through this hole at the bottom right here. Trying to get... <clears throat> Here's that pocket I was telling you about. This is supposed to be a waterproof pocket that you go through here. It says right there, waterproof. But you go through this pocket and here's that little pouch in here for your important data, I mean, important paperwork. All right, so here's the other side. Again, the same thing with the uh, Velcro here. Try to unvelcro this. And then unvelcro the other side as well. Nope, it's over here, and hopefully, making sure you guys can see this, yep. So there, I'm Velcro that, and then I'm going to pull this out. There again, this is the foam, and I'm going to make sure that this goes in the right way. So there we go. So the shape of it goes the right way, so I'm going to slide it in like that. So there we go. And the pocket fits pretty snug. Um, so there we go, and I'm going to Velcro this back up, making sure that I don't pinch anything over here. All right, so there we go. And now I have my chest protectors in. And then this pocket, this is a zipper down here. I'm going to zip it all up, and there you go. So now the back protectors, I mean the chest protectors are in, and these foam pieces are now uh, gone. Okay, um, and then as far as the back protector on the Alpine Stars, I bought the uh, newer version. Uh, there is a, uh, an older version that is CE1 rated. It was for 30 bucks. This is the new version. It's also CE1 rated, but it's um, it's seven, it's eighty dollars. And the reason why is a little bit more flex, as you can see here, uh, versus the uh, other one. And I'll show you. Uh, you know, it's very similar to the um, to the one that was I put into the Dionysia here. And I'll I'll show you real quick why what I'm talking about. See, this one doesn't really. It's not very flexible, um, but this is this is very flexible. I mean, look at this. It's all curled up. And this is I can barely curl it. So uh, the 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 Alpine Stars um, back protector that I got is the Bionic. And it's made of uh, if you guys know what D3O is, it's made of that similar material where it's very flexible, but upon impact, it will harden to absorb all the impact. 
So that's why I got the $80, this one instead. So yeah, I'm excited to try this one out. So let me put this in. Again, the Alpine Stars um, comes with this, this material right here. And it's pretty much, um, oh, apparently there's Velcro over here too. Um, it comes with this, this foam material instead of the, um, instead of, you know, this is just nothing instead of actual real armor. So here we go. I'm going to put this one in. <clears throat> there we go. There. And it fits pretty snug. Um, put it in this pocket here. It's pretty snug. Look at that. So I'm excited about wearing a jacket with a back protector now versus not. So here we go. And then it's in the pocket. The Velcro is on. All right. So now I have a jacket um, with chest protection and uh, back protection. So, um, yeah. So that's all I wanted to show you guys was uh, what the two different... Back protectors armor. The Dionese has been the same one for a long time. Uh, they haven't really sold one like this. That's um, that's of the new D3O, the new type of armor where it's very soft and flexible, and upon impact it hardens or anything like that. But I know that the Alpine Stars just finally came out with this one, so I went with this one instead of the thirty-dollar one. But you know, to each person their own. Um, so anyways, I hope that's helpful. Uh, this Alpine Stars jacket does come with some armor in the elbow and the, um, the shoulders as well. But now, now it has chest protectors and back protectors. Hope that helps. And uh, if any questions, uh, let me know in the comment section. This is Heen with Voto I'll see you next time.